I'm Tammy. I'm here with Timmy and Tony, and we are at the sixth annual benefit car show at Willow Springs. We are so excited to be here. It's a must see. We're going to be talking with the mayor, some vendors, and some local car show enthusiasts. It's a show you do not want to miss, so please don't go away. Well, I'm standing here with Adina Baskovich and some other people who are helping out for the sixth annual Benefit Car Show for Willow Springs. And Adina's going to tell us a little bit more about what's taking place today. All right, Adina, tell us what's going on here. Well, we started this car show actually six years ago. We've had perfect weather every year, knock on wood. We're just so thankful. We've actually established a Willow Springs Family Relief Fund that actually helps the village residents in town who have had hardships. Some have had cancer. Some have been veterans get back in their homes. It's really for a good cause, and we appreciate everything. We're selling T-shirts this year. We have special memorabilia stickers honoring the Santa Fe, the old speedway that used to be in Willow Springs. So we're selling them tonight, too. So we have several things going on awesome band and lots of fun food and folks and there's a lot of people that obviously make it happen there's several people here can you just tell us the names of the people who are around you sure we have Matthew up front here in the back we have Monique we have Steven and we have Jerry and we have several several volunteer base that make this all possible tonight so as with anything it doesn't take one person it takes many people working together as a team to get it going so thank you so much and we appreciate all your help and support for the community thanks for coming out tonight
about this dragster? How fast does it go? Dragster, it's pretty fast. Scare, or it goes fast enough to scare the crap out of you. Did you ever race it in like uh, races? Yeah, we do race it in races. We race here locally uh, in Indiana as well as Wisconsin. What kind of dragster is this? This is a front engine dragster. Well, when I'm racing a dragster, it's basically like, you know, I'm in a whole nother world. When I come off the track, my hand shakes a lot, like my adrenaline's pumping a lot, but you go really fast, and then when you hit that fast point, when you're right when you're about to go past the finish line, then you gotta get on the brakes really hard and hope that that brake does its job. How does it feel? It feels great. It feels really fun. So thanks for telling us about this dragster. I'm standing here with Mayor Novacek for the sixth annual Benefit Car Show at Willow Springs. And he's going to tell me a little bit about what's taking place over here with the Santa Fe um, building of the memorial. But before we go into that, this is your sixth year. And every year you do it and you get better and better. You guys are always helping those in need. Uh, tell us a little bit about the food pantry and all the stuff you guys are doing for the community as well as get into this, please. Okay. Well, it, like you said, it started six years ago. And uh, uh, the impetus was uh, I had always wanted to do some type of a car show and, and something that brought in uh, some money for some type of a benefit. And at the time, there was a little girl in the village of Willow Springs, five years old at the time, that had a, a rare form of cancer kind of located in the spine, a very difficult, uh, uh, very rare type of cancer. And uh, the family was uh, struggling. We had had a couple local benefit uh, charity type benefit parties and that. And... Uh, and we thought, what, well, what better way to bring it all together? Let's have a benefit car show uh, to help uh, uh, this little girl, Kelly. So it started out with that uh, the first two years. It took off pretty, pretty well uh, the, the first couple of years. I've always been a car guy my whole life. I, I'm a gearhead ever since I was about eight years old. And so I've always had uh, hot rods and show cars and uh, shown cars at World of Wheels and things like that. So I figured... Be, you know, between the people I knew and knowing cars and car shows, uh, you know what, I'm going to give this a, a shot. I'm going to try to do something like this. So it, it bent, that was the benefit for the first two years. Uh, the family at that time uh, seemed to be gaining some, some positive momentum uh, with their, uh, the health of their child. And they said, look, you know what, uh, we appreciate it, but you know, maybe there's somebody else in town. And then that led to uh, the uh, Willow Springs Veterans and Family Relief Fund. And what that does is we, we help veterans from any wars, uh, any families of those that are currently serving, and also those in town, uh, you know, that maybe have fallen on hard times or they're, they're running into some financial troubles. And what you see here is the result of, of be between the, the car community, which has always been generous, and, uh, you know, the village wanting to help. Well, I think it's wonderful because you're bringing something, like you said, that you um, have always admired as a child and bringing it into the community to help those in need because everyone seems to like car shows. I mean, you don't necessarily have to own a race car or show car to enjoy it because it is a very, uh, very awesome thing to check out. I know my kids love it as well. And coming in and bringing that in to uh, help other people, you mentioned about the different benefits and stuff. I think that's, that's wonderful. Um, now, this is something I'd like to talk about further, too. Um, you're raising this memorial um, for the Santa Fe, right. and it's going to be placed where? And tell us a, kind of a little bit about this. Brief me in. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of people that are familiar with the Santa Fe racetrack, which was located in Willow Springs at uh, 91st and Wolf Road. Uh, the track was redeveloped in 1995, and it went to a residential development. And about two years ago... Uh, I was working with the Brushmasters. I, I'm a pinstriper as well. Uh, and you know them too. Absolutely. And uh, one of the, uh, 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 I guess you'd say the uh, board members of the Brushmasters, Bob Bahonic, 
Uh, we were sitting around after the show closed one evening and just talking, and he said, hey, what do you think about doing some type of a historical marker for the Santa Fe racetrack? He said, you know, there's a lot of folks that, you know, remember it well, and, and it's not that long gone, and, and let's do something to commemorate the location of the racetrack. Uh, you know, some type of a memorial stone or marker and, uh, you know, do something for, you know, for the memory of that. And I said, I love it. Let's do it. And uh, so I started then I, with, with my village board and I talked to the president of the Townhouse Association, uh, which, which is, uh, you know, currently at 91st and Wolf Road. And, uh, and Ted Landers, who's the president, was thrilled with the idea. And we all met out there and, and started to come up with some renderings. And, uh, and even the, the Townhouse Association president said, you know, well, let's make it bigger. You know, so then it, a, a smaller rack, you know, evolved into this big one here that, that we got donated. So there's a lot of folks that have donated um, time and effort to this, to this charity. Uh, we have a contractor in town that's picked up and moved this rock several times uh, to get it here today, which is just on display for today. Uh, it will be moved to its permanent home in the next few days. And uh, so it's, it's, it's all come together. But a lot of volunteers, uh, a lot of memories in this area. Uh, you know, Willow Springs has, has uh, really a, a terrific history. And, and Santa Fe Racetrack is, is one of those uh, parts of our history that's uh, that's just awesome. Well, thank you so much. I, I look forward to coming uh, for future years to come because this is just amazing. You don't see that many mayors getting involved in their community, really trying to help people in need. And I see that with you, and I thank you so much. It's very well appreciated. And all the car show enthusiasts love it as well. well we, you know, well, we're gonna, it's great. We, we will have a formal announcement. Uh, because we want to do a, a regular formal dedication to this and uh, make people aware that uh, something like this has occurred and hopefully you know there's other areas in the Chicago air, uh, Chicago metro area that had racetracks car and motorcycle racetracks at one point in history and you know maybe those areas might do something as well to uh, uh, kind of like uh, striking the match and letting it flow in a good way, absolutely. right? Absolutely, and, 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 and I hope it does. But you know what? I want to stress there, there was a lot of volunteers, a lot right. of people, Facebook, uh, Santa Fe folks uh, that have really spread the word on this. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's, it's really taken off, and I'm, I, I couldn't be more pleased. You're right. I mentioned with the gal behind um, the, the vendor who is doing the raffles that it really does take a team because there's a lot of people who are behind the scenes that don't get recognized or acknowledged and like the mayor said it takes a team and he, he's just the big guy in charge and you know and we're all working together to do a wonderful service for the community and so just, thank you. You know what I, I, I want to stress it's it's not me it we, we've got a, a terrific village staff all my department heads police uh, public works uh, I could go on and on and mention names a ton of residents from this town uh, volunteer their time and they they help out and of course it's the car folks that come out as well so it's it's not me the the, the charities are wonderful we've helped a lot of families uh, in town a lot of veterans uh, we strive every year to give away the money uh, everything we 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 take in we give away uh, a small amount of seed funds are set aside to, to start the next year and we just keep paying it forward that way and it's working out I agree. Paying it forward always pays off. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you.
walking around at the car show and I just couldn't I just couldn't pass this car up. It was just an eye stopper. And I'm here with Matt Klump, the owner of this car. You gotta tell me about this car, it's amazing. Okay, well this is my version of a replica of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, the car from the movie. Um, they never made a car Chitty Chitty Bang Bang except for the movie, so it's a giant, fictitious car. Um, I love the movie and I built the car. It's all scratch built, there's nothing, you can't go buy parts for it, so I ended up scratch building the whole car. Um, the hood, the fenders, the body's wood, obviously. The fenders are steel, the hood's aluminum. Um, took me about 4,000 hours to do, so a lot of work goes into it. Um, it's got a little straight six engine and uh, automatic transmission, pretty basic, gets around. Um, I like to call it my toy. It's a giant toy, big boy toy is, you know. It's a lot of fun to drive around. Obviously, uh, I like to have it when the kids play on it and stuff, because it's a kid's movie, kid's toy, you know, so. It's funny that you said that, because I grew up with Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and I remember the movie, and I showed my kids the movie, and here we get to see the car that just looks like it, and wow, you've spent a lot of hours on it, and it's a labor of love, and like you said, it's your toy, and it's a lot of fun. Yes, thank you. It's a, It's been a lot of fun. Don't you I just got it done this year, so. Oh, maybe. And so when you're being, when you're driving in it, yeah, I bet you, I, I bet you really feel like you're flying for real too. Oh yes, it's phantasmagorical, as they say. Yes, it's a lot of fun. Well, thank you so much for joining us at the car show. Thank you. Take care now. This is a cool blue car. Look at this cool blue station wagon. It looks just like my shirt. The color. Rockies that'll be moved to a permanent location. car it has a very bright color to it and I like it because it's so nice
cool motorcycle. Well, at the car show, we see a lot of cars, but this is a motorcycle that really stands out. We love the color, and uh, don't you wish that was real? Kind of could grab some, walk away, no. <laughs> Did a really good job on this finish. Beautiful, love the color, love the lights. Maybe someday I'll get one of those. that because it's my kind of car. Well, like I said before, we're walking around looking for the coolest cars and trucks around and I have to say, this is definitely one of a kind. It's a Ford truck. I'm here with Jim and Bob. You gotta tell me about this. This is not is an awesome eye catcher. Well, it's, it's my yeah. truck. Oh, it's your but truck. Uh, he gave me the the chassis. It's uh what was it, 79? 79 Chevrolet chassis. We cut it three feet so it would fit this this uh, wheelbase. And the cab the cab was mounted on it. And there's a, what is it, a, a 90 LS1 engine in it, Jim? A Corvette. And uh, the, the box uh, the, on the back was custom made in Canada. And it was painted by a fellow by the name of Bill Bello. But uh, there was... There's only one of these trucks around, believe me, and he has it. See, Ford never made a cab over engine with a pickup bed on it. They they made a regular pickup uh, uh, truck, but not with a cab over. That's what's so odd about this. Like I said, I just couldn't help but believe this. I, I mean, definitely an eye catcher. Thirty-nine too. It's good shape for to, to top it off, and a lot of hours worth of work in this. <laughs> I can't even imagine how many hours you put into this. Two years. Yeah. yeah. Two I owned it. Hours. I've owned it for six years, but the two years of labor into it. Did you see the pictures on the side there of what what it looked like when he got it from Florida? I mean, this this thing was a piece of junk when it came from Florida. Believe me. And what Jim done to it, and and all the time that he spent on it, and. Uh, you know, and then he got sick for a long time. He was sick for almost a year, and but he still wound up. He finished. He finished the truck, and he painted it. And he had another guy help him with the bed, painting it. But like I say, it's, it's my old '79 Chevy chassis, rally chassis, which runs very good. Uh, it's it's a little tight to drive in. You know, it doesn't have a lot of, doesn't have a lot of room in it like a regular late model truck does. But uh, I'll tell you. It's cool. Nobody's got one. Everybody wants to take a picture of it. You and know. you guys are the lucky ones who have it. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I do. I paid the bills. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming to the Willow Springs Car Show and showing off this one-of-a-kind, awesome-looking car. Okay, there's Truck. Thank you.